in case you don't know, I'm a big tea lover. I don't just drink coffee every day, but I drink a lot of tea. In fact, I drink more tea than coffee during the day. Now, this video, today's video, we are going to see whether we can make tea using Bravel Barista Express. Have you tried that? Now, you might see some people, they, they use a tea bag to make but today i'm going to show you the right way to make tea you could make beautiful tea using brawl barista express so i'm going to give you all those tips continue watching till the end now this is a brand that we usually buy here in canada red rose this is very very good brand now in case you don't know the tea bag it contains plastic what yeah, that's right. It contains plastic. One of the Canadian scientists found it, that it contains plastic and it's proven. Now, I was thinking this is made of paper, but it's not. It contains a thin layer of plastic, which is dissolvable, they say, and which is good for health, which is edible, but no, plastic is plastic. And if you put something hot, into it it can react and it can produce some toxic which is bad for you so whenever you buy a tea or a tea bag make sure you buy something natural now here it's written this is made of 100 percent renewable plant material so this does not have plastic maybe i'm wrong i don't know whether red rose use plastic or not but this is something that you need to keep watching when or you buy a new tea always check the brand whether it has plastic some of them they have written it clearly there is no plastic uh, i don't know the brands that you get in your local store but keep that in mind and again, I don't know whether Red Rose has no plastic in it, but they have confirmed here that this is from plant material. Anyway, now to make tea using the Breville Barista Express, don't use this. Never, never use tea bag. Because if you use tea bag, um, it can produce a lot of sourness to the tea. I don't know if I if I'm saying the right thing sourness uh, sourness what I mean is after drinking as after taking a sip of tea you feel the mouth to be dry that feeling there'll be a lot if you use a tea bag now to make tea in Breville Barista Express I buy loose tea or tea leaf now I lost the cover my wife threw it somewhere so I cannot show you but it's the same brand Red Rose but you get tea bag version and the loose tea version so you buy the loose tea let me show you how to make tea now now to make tea using Breville Barista Express it's so easy I make it very often what you need is a single wall non pressurized basket this is the double size and then you take the tea leaf powder and fill the potter filter Now don't overfill the potter filter. You can level using your hand 
or tamper but don't tamp it just need to level it that's all make sure it is all over um, the pot of filter okay now Now take a cup, a teacup, and you're ready to pull. I usually press the double cup button. Let me show you a close up. Now, what I do is I wait for five seconds and then I press the double basket again. That should be perfect. That's a nice looking tea. The color looks good. It's a bit reddish. That's what you need to achieve. Now, that's all you do. You got a cup of tea. Now, I like to add some milk to it. That's the way I like, so let me show you. So that's how the tea looks like. Now, you might have heard the saying, if the tea doesn't look reddish color, that means you did not make a good tea. Anyway, so this one looks a bit reddish color, looks perfect for me. I'm going to add some milk and sugar. And some milk. That should be good. I might go for some more milk. Perfect. Now, before I taste the tea, I want to show you the potter filter. Take it out. looks exactly like the coffee grounds so all you do is just discard gone I don't know if you can see it it's the shape of the coffee the coffee ground anyway you have the clean potter filter and you clean clean it immediately under the water and it's time to taste. Wow, very strong tea. Exactly the way I like. There is no sourness or aftertaste. This is as perfect as boiling the water and making tea from your stove top. Now, try this at home and let me know in the comments below if you made a nice tea or not now if you like this video please give a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't i'll be posting more videos on travel barista express and tips and how to videos etc so stay tuned good night